So here he is doing a round table for the folks, for the quote unquote journalists at Time Magazine. And listen to the way he frames what's going on in society today. You'll see how this is connected to the trans stuff. I think it's safe, especially right now. When you have one side that has a maximalist commitment to tearing down every norm uh, and, uh, and law they don't like. So where does that put us? And by the way, why is it happening? I think it's happening because there are some people who find it easier to pick on really vulnerable young people than to explain why they voted no on money for roads and bridges. Like the perfect ridiculous shell game answer that Democrats do with everything. First off, this line, one side has a maximalist commitment to tearing down everything. Uh, you mean like tearing down gender, like tearing down our border, like tearing down every known way we've looked at monetary policy forever, et cetera, et cetera. Are you talking about the Democrats? I think if you are talking about the Democrats, you might be onto something. But of course, Pete's not talking about the Democrats. Uh, he's trying to pretend that the Republicans are passing scary bills to come after trans people. And might I remind you, there is not one bill in the United States in any state that stops an adult trans person from living any way that they wish to live, wearing whatever they want, being called whatever they want, calling themselves whatever they want, getting into whatever relationship they might want to get into that any other consenting adult is allowed to get into. But he says these things and then he sits around a group of what I assume are DC or New York, you know, liberal lefties who just sit there and oh my God, look at Pete, he can put a couple words together, isn't he good? Isn't he good?